Hello, I'm Mama S. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all well. I'm back with Stella. Once again, we are continuing our adventures and I'm on the hunt for pulsar rays. I want to build that crusher for Bruce and Mickey, get some oil, and then with said oil, chuck it in the oven with the chicken. And finally, finally, I hope cook that fried chicken that has eluded me for so long. So we are en route to Pulsar Rays. Let's go see what Astrid wants. The eagle-eyed viewers will notice that uh, both Stella and Daffodil are now coordinated. We've had a little costume change in between recordings. Mm hmm, mm, I? I don't know how I feel. Should I be sad? Oh, that's because last time we got rid of Giovanni. Whoop, whoop. So Astrid is obviously now having a somewhat of a crisis of conscience, maybe. Should I be sad? Mm -hmm. Should I be happy? Angry? I can feel his absence. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's as if something has been fulfilled. Completed. You know what I mean, Munchkin? Mm -hmm. Am I a bad person? Is it okay for someone to feel liberated under such circumstances? Love, he was cheating on you. Kick his butt out of there. I'm sorry, Stella. I don't want to sound ungrateful. Mm -hmm. I'm still a bit shaken, but not lost. At least you're here with me. Oh, she's made up with her now, has she? Because she had a right old go at her last time. Blamed her for telling her the truth. At least you're here with mm -hmm. me. That's the most important. My heart is stronger because you're in it. Oh, that's so lovely. New request, a second wind. Oh dear, flatulence. Let's have a look at this new request. Let Astrid live her best life. What does that mean? Nought of six. Let Astrid live her best life. All will be reeled, I'm sure, in due course. <laughs> Walking across there, it looks hilarious. You're gonna talk to her. You're gonna give me a clue? A word. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I think about the past a lot these days. All those images come back to me, waking me up at night. I think of all the horrors during the war, mm -hmm. all my friends who died. The joy at the liberation. Mm -hmm. And of course, I think of all those children we hid in the basement of the factory. So many questions on that. Granny Sue and I, I was so young, only a few years older than them. 16, 17 maybe. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize what I was doing. She fessing up too. All the implications, all the risks. Mm -hmm. But I was young and I didn't see any other option. I couldn't leave those kids out there. They were so afraid, mm -hmm. so small. And we knew most of their parents. Mm -hmm. None of them came back. Oh, that's a sad man. I'm not surprised she's down in the dumps a little bit. Your veggie patch is looking bare as usual. Do I have anything to plant? Zero. I don't understand why it's too dark to navigate. I upgraded my boat so it never slept. Why is it not sleeping? I mean, why is it sleeping? I do not understand that. Have you guys worked it out? Do you have boats that don't sleep? Do you sail through the night? I want to sail through the night. I don't want to stop and have a sleep. Put it in the comments if you know how to sail through the night, please. Help a lady out. All right, so that, I think, should now give us enough pulsar ingots for the crusher. Time to obliterate some rocks into the finest dust. Let's do it. Yeah, I think there was a good place because it's near all the other stuff that we transform things into, like the foundry and the sawmill and the loom. So there. Crusher, done. Right, let's go talk to Bruce and Mickey. I'm sure they're going to give us a lesson in how the crusher works. Look at it! Oh, Stella. No, Stella, get off the zip line. Look at it! That's beautiful. Mickey can already hear the smashing sounds coming from inside. I'm sure she's a beaut. Try crushing something. It will make you feel good. Let some of that rage out. Stella doesn't look like she's got much rage. Not holding in any rage. Doesn't seem like that to me. What? I'm not going to explain it. Oh, a child can do this. You make the machine go smash. It's a piece of cake. Here are a few rocks to get you started. Let it roar. I'll wait here and listen to the sound of the crushing. Okay, so we're chucking quartz and limestone and stuff like that. Alrighty. So this is the crusher. Let's chuck in quartz then. Do we push that down? Is that it? 
silica powder is what I'm getting. What if we crush an apple? Oh, we've still got some more to go. Hang on, wait. Let's chuck in an apple. No, failed experiments with the apple. Sunflower seed? Oil. Do you see that, people? There's oil. How do we know when to stop crushing? Oh, she just stops. We have oil. You know what that means, right? You know what that means. I'm excited now. I'm excited now. Uh, coal. What if I chuck in some coal? Carbon powder. Interesting. What else? Pulsar ingot. Comet powder. <gasps> we needed comet powder for something. Oh, it's all starting to take effect. What else can we chuck in? Limestone. Lime powder. Have we done all these? Corn. Oh! <laughs> that was a strange experiment, was it? Corn flour! Ooh. Okay. Done. Whoa. You happy about that? Excellent. You crushed that rock like there was no tomorrow. I could hear it beg for mercy. That was pretty amazing. I felt good. You got some chops? <laughs> Scout. Don't talk to me about chops. I'm still scarred from the pork chop quest. I know you'll be able to do this next job. Look, Mickey needs a house, not just any house. He needs a goddamn palace. Marble, gold mirrors, indoor palm trees, the whole nine yards. And doesn't Stella look excited at that prospect? Something that would make our neighbours back home furious. Get it done. We've got to build them a crib. Let's go check it out. But let's go by the kitchen. Let us chuck in. One oil. And one chicken. Yes. Oh, that is cooking. Let's go see what we need for Bruce and Mickey's crib. Let's build them that. Gosh, that's a big old place, isn't it? Just stick them on top of the crusher so we can keep them awake at night. There it is then. Boom. Have your Millie Palace. Let's check out said Millie Palace. Gosh. Got pillars. Jeez, it does look like a little palace. This is what I'm talking about. You don't mess around. No, I don't mess around, hun. I get on with the job. We need to give you a proper nickname. Mickey, what do you think? Right? I don't like that. That's already taken. Phantom Terror? That's no good. Give him a minute. All right, have a minute. Let's go check out the palace while you have your minute. Ooh, lounge. Settee. Sofa, as the rest of the world call it. All right, they're in their palace. Nice. So what's next, then? The chicken, of course. How could I forget? Where's the kitchen? Is the chicken cooked? It's on fire. Do not let it burn. Get that chicken out. Fried chicken at last. Right then, a tool. Where you at? Oh, he's asleep. Oh my God, he's asleep. All right, when he wakes up, he's getting that. Edgeburn Lane's not far from here. We could finish this shenanigan off. I'm on a mission now. I've decided today I'm on a mission. I'm going to get rid of as many quests as we can and do as many upgrades as possible in the time allowing. Right, let us give Uncle Atul his fried chicken. Stand still. Yo. Uh. Yo, Atul. Stop. Stop. I got something for you, buddy. Where are you going? Stand still. Is it gone? Right, Atul. I have food for you. Have a fried chicken, buddy. Oh. This always makes me think of my dad. He loved preparing food. He was an absolute genius in the kitchen. Oh. His meals would always turn out perfectly. Get his cheeks while he's eating. But while he was making them, he was angry. Oh. He couldn't take his focus away from making food. It was like he was trying to tame the kitchen or something. It was a fight to the death. Oh. He would always win. 
A meal could take him hours to prepare, just right. It took him so long, I remember being a kid, and when it was ready, I didn't care what food was in front of me. It could have been cereal for all I cared. I just hated watching him make food back then. Waiting for hours for a meal I didn't care about. But every time I eat this, it doesn't seem that bad anymore. The fried chicken reminds you of that? Well, thanks, Sprout. Is that it? Thanks. Is that all I get? Thanks. For the fried chicken. Do you have any idea how long that took me to do? My God. Uncle at all, yes. I think we should organize a big dinner for everyone aboard. I'm not kidding around. Well, not everyone. <laughs> Just a few people, maybe. I think it would bring spirits up. Ah, <laughs> no pun intended. You should invite everyone. I thought you said not everyone. And ask them what they want for dinner. Let's say three of your favorite dinner companions. I'm going to struggle to find three on this boat. What do you think? Oh my god, we've got to make dinner for people. Invite everyone to the dinner. <laughs> a tool wants me at the dinner? Hmm, sure. I guess I should be there. I don't know. I'm not sure if I... Anyway, if I get there, I should eat noodle soup. Oh, I can see what's going to happen here. We're going to have to have three different recipes. <laughs> it will probably be fun to talk to everyone. Or not. See you there, Munchkin. Noodle soup. How do we make noodle soup? Noodle soup. Just rice flour. Let's do that. Rice flour. Okay. One noodle soup. Who else are we inviting? Stanley! Gotta invite Stanley. Alright, buddy. Oh, Stanley loves other people's food. Bring me some French fries. French fries for Stanley. Right, the noodle soup should be done. Now French fries. Potato and fat. One potato. One fat. Okay, here comes his French fries. We need to invite one more person. Right, right, let's see. Can we make this three out of three? Good stuff. Uh -huh. Hmm. That over-energized friend of yours is organizing a dinner. Good thing you are taking care of the food, my dear. Let's see. Something that takes skill. Tuna tataki, perhaps. Uh -huh. Sounds decent. Tuna tataki, then. Oh, no. I don't think we've ever caught any tuna. Tuna and a savory veg. I don't think we've got a tuna. We do not have a tuna. All right. I wonder if it will let me invite Bruce and Mickey instead. <laughs> Scout! We've got another errand for you to run. This one is fixing a problem you created. You gave us a house, which is nice and all. However, it's empty. We've got nothing. We need to add some pizzazz to it. Mickey has always had a certain lavish lifestyle. However, I can't tell you what he wants. You'll just have to figure that out. We're not interior designers. Word of advice, Scout. Get whatever's expensive and loud. Expensive and loud, eh? What's this I hear about a kitchen on board? Oh, we've got to feed them. I bet they, they won't come now because I've, I've spoken to three people. No, we need to catch some tuna. Oh my God. All right. Big hat. Okay, I need a fucking hage. A what, Stanley? I hope you're not swearing at me. You know, a fucking hage. What? You don't know what that is? How could it be? It's super popular and normal. Everyone has them lying around in the kitchen. Everyone loves them. Oh, come on. Are you making fun of me? I don't like it when people make fun of me. Look, I've been dreaming about it. I need a fucking hage. Would that be faking hage? Mysterious word. Stanley's mysterious word. Give him food, a breakfast food. No, we haven't worked out what a fucking hage is. Yes, at all. Now here comes the hard part. The hard part is getting the tuna. I need a sous chef. Someone to help me prepare all the meals. I'm already on it, buddy. A good chef always has a good team behind them. Believe you me, Stella. We make a great team. I'll just write down what everyone wanted. You just need to prepare it all. What are you going to do? The heavy lifting, you know? 
Sous chef extraordinaire. So we've got to give him the French fries, the noodle soup, and the tuna tataki. Oh, why did we go for him? Right. Let's get rid of them before I accidentally give them to someone else. French fries? Of course, Stanley loves some French fries. Don't you eat them, gut bucket. Noodle soup. Way to go, Astrid. We need tuna. We need tuna for the rest. Right, let's go see this dude then at... um. Um, where are we? I don't even remember now. Edgeware. Somewhere Edgeware, I think. Was it you? Oh. Don't talk to me. That would be a no then. We are Edgeborough Lane. We've got to talk to the music fan. Ah, it's these people. Hello. You oh. got it? I did. Nice. Good job finding the sheet music for the autumn end. Now, let her rip. Mm -hmm. Go play the song in the middle there. Let's stop this madness. Unite us. Obviously, for copyright reasons, who knows if I'm allowed to play it or not. So the music's turned off, I'm afraid. But we will have to take their word for it that it was amazing. Sure, and I had a rock. I told you. I told them. It's the same song. Thanks for settling this argument. Now, these so called music lovers will leave us alone. Yeah. Excellent. That's shenanigan done. What do you want? You've been mulling it over. It took me a while to figure it out. Aww. I don't think I'm happy here. Ooh. I miss my family. I miss the way the house smells before a big dinner. I know I can't go back home. Ooh. That's just not possible. But I don't want to be here anymore. <gasps> Is he going? Are we getting rid of him? I know, that would mean not being with you. Ooh. But I want to be alone for a bit. Take some time for myself. Maybe enjoy some quiet time, if that's even possible. Ooh. Thanks for listening, Sprout. I do tend to get intense, but I don't want to put pressure on you. Hopefully that wasn't too much. No, that's fine. If you want to leave, I'm happy with that, buddy. Goodbye. I'd happily take you to the Everdor. All right, Stanley, what can I do you for, hum? <laughs> you don't have a fucking hage yet? No. It's usually white and round and hard. White, round and hard. We have it at breakfast all the time. Neg? I love it with toast. And they always come in dozens. It's got to be talking about eggs, right? Like boiled egg or something. It's got to be talking about an egg. White, round and hard. Let's cook an egg. What do we get? What do we get? Do we get a fucking hage? Eggs sunny side up. Woo! Is this what Stanley wanted? Oh, look, he's sleeping. Oh, he's so cute. Let's let him sleep. Looks like we have arrived at Sun Springs Square. Let's go check this town out, see what that's all about. But before we do that, let's talk to Stanley. Stanley, is this a fucking hage? <laughs> I'm not hungry. That's weird because I'm always hungry. But not for now, for some reason. Oh my god, is that not a fucking hage? Oh. Directions? I always just go left and right. But if you want a flashy place to oh. visit... My brother heard about this spot filled with giant screens. It was probably lying. Maybe you could take a look. Location is marked on your map. Ooh, a new destination. F well, that wasn't a very exciting visit, was it? Has it opened up some of the map, though? Maybe it's done that. Let's have a look. Yes. Nice. We have Francis here. Oh, we have another turtle. Arena, the other sister. With Flotsam Shores. We have arrived at Flotsam Shores. Ruined. It's a load of empty containers. Oh, nice. Oh, I thought it was going to be a tuna. Oh, we've got sockeye salmon. I think we needed that for one of Francis's errands. Tuna? No, a flounder. Ooh, what's this? Hello. I made this whole place. It started with a dream. A city of containers in the air. Floating amongst the clouds. Then I woke up and thought to myself, that's the most ridiculous thing ever, Marty. Mm -hmm. If it's just a city of containers in the sea, it makes more sense. So I built it. It took a few years. Ooh. Here we are. Good job, Marty. Well done. Mm -hmm. You're always welcome here. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey, you. Good day to you too. I'm glad you said something. 
It would have been odd for you to just pass by. Ooh. Well, that's it. Have a good day. Hilarious. This way, Daff. Back to the boat. That is lots of shores. War map. Nice. Tuna. There is tuna. Let's go try our luck with the tuna. Pretty little fella. My goodness, what is this? No! Arr! That was so annoying. I'm sure fishing has got harder in this game. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you're finding it difficult since the Lily update to fish. And if you're not, what are you doing that I'm not doing? Ah! Come on, reel it in, Stella. Reel it in. Daff, your cat. Jump in and catch it. This time. Come on, you pesky fish. Oh, so close. Oh, come on, Stella. You can do it. This is the closest we've ever got to a yellow fin tuna. Let's do that again to prove it wasn't a fluke. Could be another tuna. No, it's an octopus. Got this sorted, I think, with the fishing. All about the double tapping when it goes red. Orangey red, double tap the rod. Don't release it, double tap it. So, we need to cook. Now, what was it? It was tuna something, right? Tuna teriyaki or something like that. Tuna ta tataki. Savory vegetable and tuna savory vegetable I know I'm in the fish bit I know I know yellowfish and tuna right and a savory veg they class as a savory veg do I not have a savory veg I don't want to waste my tuna I'm gonna remove that what does they class as a savory veg I'm not risking it unless it says savory veg I'm not risking it I don't know if we can can we go check out this sandwich walk let's go Check it out. Now I picked up some onion, didn't I? I wonder if that class is as a savoury veg. Oh, we've learned a frittata. Nice. Quite partial to frittata. I wonder if that's what he means by fucking hage. You think he means that's a fucking hage, the frittata? Who knows? Let's have a look. Vegetables, onion, savoury veg. Look at that. So we'll chuck that in with the yellow fin tuna. Look it. Oh, I hope this is right. All right, let's go check out Sandwich Walk. Now I wonder, is this the place that that dude at Flotsam Shores was talking about? With all the multiple screens and all that. Oh, this place used to be cool. It was buzzing and off the walls. I remember a party oh. that was, wait, do I remember a party? Was it just me? Oh. I remember people. Were there even people? I'm so lost. I'm so confused. My brother sent you. He told you I was lying about this place. We've been feuding for many years. I can't bear the sound of his name. His capital that you return to my brother at once. Why? At once, I say. You tell him about this marvel, this gem of a location. Clear my name, you great adventurer. I refuse to let this bitter rivalry go on any longer. Well, come back with me then. My brother will surely reimburse you for your troubles. Really? Are you sure about that? Garlic seed. Garlic bread. Ooh, quite partial to some garlic bread. I'm a big fan of ads. You look like you're in the right place then, buddy. Go tell me what to think. It's not science. It's a way of life. Another one of these. What are these? We found one of those somewhere else, didn't we? What are they? Back we go then. Interesting place. So hopefully this gives us the tuna takakini or whatever it is. Yes! I've got six of them. Nice. Sous chef extraordinaire. Quest advanced. Right, where's Uncle Atul? 
Yo! What are you running off for? Yo! What the heck is he doing? Don't forget, oh. you need to prepare. I've done it! I've done it! Have it! There you go. Oh. The finer tastes of Gustav always shine in his food choices. Good work! Oh. We just need a place to eat now. I don't think the deck is the right place for a five course meal. What about the big city, Hummingburg? Oh. That island with the shrine and the nice tables. Nothing too fancy, but still a night on the town. I'll make us a nice oh. spot. Let's head over there. Astrid. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm so tired. So old. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't go much further. Will you do me a favor? <gasps> she wants to go to the ever door. Mm -hmm. Bring me to where it ends. No, wait. You've got to have dinner with the tool first. She's saying, he wants to go to the ever door. I think we're going to take it for dinner first with it all. I don't want to mess that quest up. All right, I think we've arrived at Flotsam. Let's go talk to this brother then. Hopefully he's going to give us something fabulous. The trouble is, I can't remember where he is. Was it you? You're always welcome here. Nope, wasn't you. Was it you? Hello, stranger. Was it you? Good day. Was it you? Mm. Take care. I can't remember where he is. Am I in the right place? And now I'm all discombobulated. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll have to look that one back. Right then. So, maybe I'll see Alex then. Go to Hummingburg. Here we are then. Come on then, people. Hummingbird, food time. Sprout. Oh. This looks great. I knew you would pull through. And everyone oh. made it. Are you ready to eat? Yes. All right. Oh. Wait a minute. What am I having to eat? Thank you so much for being gathered here. I couldn't have done it all alone. You didn't, mate. I did it all. This feels like a real family oh. dinner. You've all made me feel part of your family. Thank you. Food. Oh. And of course, Stella. My niece. Thank you. Oh. All right. I'll stop talking now. Just dig in. Oh. Lovely. Ah, mm. Look at them all munching away. And me playing the guitar, so I'm not even eating. I get a guitar to play. What the heck? And we're back on the boat. And that's that, is it? Astrid is Everdor. Tools disappeared. Guess we go to the Everdor then. Take Astrid. <gasps> mulberry seed. When planted in the orchard, this seed will grow into a mulberry tree where nice silk worms will live. Silk fibres will grow and nothing else. We need that. We need that. Right then, we've got to build an orchard. Perfect. Right, I'm going to plant my mulberry seeds. Olive, cherry, apple, peach, mulberry. This is going to be the silk one. Have a door, please, Alex. We've got somebody to dump there. I was not expecting that today. When I set out on the recording, I thought I'm just going to smash through as many quests as I can. Not expecting to be dump somebody at the other door, but I'll take it. Oh, yes. Stella. Mm -hmm. Ah, we've finally arrived. I feel so weak. Can we go now? Mm -hmm. Of course. Let's go. Let's do this. I can't hold it any longer. I hope she's not talking about flatulence. No, no flatulating on my boat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's wise to live that long, Munchkin. Good thing I've never been that wise. But boy, am I old. Mm -hmm. And being this old is disappointing. You just end up being ugly on the outside. That's so not true. I'm rotten on the inside. Astrid, that's not right, love. Mm -hmm. And it hurts so much. Life is suffering. It is hard. Mm -hmm. The world is cursed. She's not a happy bunny, is she? But still, you find reasons to keep on living. Astrid, what's happened to you? Is this since Giovanni left? I don't regret a thing, you know. I don't regret the struggles. I don't regret the hardships, mm -hmm. the pain, the sorrow. And I've seen so much of it. Mm -hmm. But still, I don't regret what I've done or how I've lived my life. I just wish the world had been a better mm -hmm. place. A better place for them, for us. But surely a better place for you, my dear. <laughs> Having a little fan there, it's a bit warm, you know, a bit warm. Mm -hmm. Or have you just let it go, Astrid, and you're, like, trying to clear the air? Is it all gone already? I don't see much anymore. You're still here with me, aren't you? <gasps> She's not going blind, is she? Mm -hmm. You're still here, Stella? 
Don't you forget about me, please. I don't care about anyone else but you. You don't forget about me. I'm telling you. I'll come back and haunt you if you do. I can feel it coming. Goodbye, Stella. Just follow your heart and keep smiling. Good advice. See, she's still there, Astrid. One final hug. Away she goes. And there's her constellation. Kind of see her face there. It's like a cat staring at you type of thing. Cat's nose. I can see there. All right, I'll press X in a minute. I'm just describing it. Cat's nose in the center of the screen. The whisker part. The part of a cat's face where you get that little triangle. I see it. I like that. Nice touch. Oh, wait. Do we get rid of a tool as well? Oh, my God. That would be just so awesome. Let's get this spirit flower first oh he's gone missing we've got to ask Gustav and Stanley about where a tool is oh, this could be we can get rid of him as well oh my god that would be amazing right Gustav where are you at where's the tool uh -huh. my time is quite valuable however I've noticed that a passenger is missing what was his name the bombastic friend of yours <laughs> oh well Right, Stanley, you were no help there, Gustav. Big Hat, where is your uncle? The big, nice, funny man. He was so nice to me. What? Another spirit flower? He's just gone? On his own? What? What, no end to it? None whatsoever? There was no closure about Uncle at all. He just disappeared. I don't know how I feel about that. I wanted to take him to the Everdor. I know we're there, but there's no journey. No end of story. I'm glad he's gone. Don't get me wrong. I am very glad he's gone. But the story didn't complete. Ah, oh, no. But he's gone. Let's focus on the positive. Uncle at all has gone. Yes. Okay, so we've lost a tool, which I'm happy about. Maybe lost is the wrong word. The tool has now gone to the uh, great big spirit fairy in the sky. So what to do next? So I think I'll finish today's recording by going to Albert's shipyard and upgrading the blueprint table, which then hopefully will allow us to build other bits and bobs. So let's do that. We'll head to Albert. We can't be that far from him. Right then, Albert, here we come. Hello! Are you hungry? No, thank you. I know a great place to eat. It's called the desert. It's famous for its sand, which I'm sure you'll like. <laughs> famous for its sand. Don't get it. Don't get it. Just upgrade my blueprint. Oh, it's the last one as well. We get to build a cow stall, a cellar and a smithy. Build me this bad boy. Yes! Look, look, that says, right, Albert, 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 Albert. The mighty sized boat that never sleeps. I have this boat, and yet it does sleep. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, thank you. Your jokes are rubbish. So let us see what we need for this smithy. Cow stall. Oh, proof of purchase cow. You just get the cows, is that right? Ooh, I'm tempted. Wait, smithy first, mama, smithy first. We could build a cellar, which is a fermentation haven. Fermentation haven. Unleash your inner blacksmith. I like the sound of that. Boom! What else do we need? We could still build the cellar. We could st and the cow stall. <gasps> Tempted. Should build the cow stall. Where would we put them? They would not be near the sheep, Mama. This does not bode well with my orderliness. I'm going to build a set. No, cows. 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 Right, cows. Up here. The cows will go up here. For now. I can see me moving stuff around. We could build another one. No, we need more cotton fabric. All right, and a cellar. Out there. Fabulous. Let's go check out these new buildings. Right, let's go have a look at the cow thing first. We've got good stuff waiting for us at the smithy. We get a cow with it. <gasps> Immense. Hello, cow. What do we get with you? We milk. <gasps> of course. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
brilliant. We could put three old cows up there. Fabulous. And what was the other thing? The cellar. Let's go have a look at the cellar. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on in here? Add. Can be aged into yogurt. This can become sauerkraut. The heron is small and an unambitious un un fish that can be eaten fermented. All right, let's chuck a fish in then. Or five, because we've got five of them. In here, we're going to stick some sauerkraut in. This one. We're going to put the milk in. Brilliant. I love it. I love it. Right, let's go see what's his face. How about this smithy. Grandiose. As uncouth as it would be for me to pose as a true specialist, I can assure you that this machine you built is perfect. Be proud of yourself, Skipper. Now you can craft the most elaborate materials with the greatest ease. Uh -huh. Art can finally move mm. forward. There are, of course, technicalities involved. As I said, I'm far from being a skilled blacksmith myself. Uh -huh. All I can tell you, Skipper, is that it is most probably rather straightforward. My understanding is that each material has its own specific heating and hammer shaping properties. Some will require constant, small hammer hits. Some will have you whack on it with the highest strength you can muster. Watching how hot your hammer becomes will be a crucial observation skill. But enough blathering. Uh -huh. Go at it! I'll watch you from a safe distance right over here. Okay. So- oh, The sheets! The sheets that we needed! Way Now, what did we need? I can't remember. Crystal glass, I think. I think we needed crystal glass. Let's do it. Oh, so we're going to need loads of ingots for stuff going on. Right. What do I whack it with? If that comes out, then have to whack it with a hammer. Watch the hot hammer. <laughs> Water. Brilliant! A crystal sheet. How lovely. Uh -huh. That was impressive, Skipper. You did really well for a neophyte. Mm. You must have noticed that if your hammer runs too hot, letting it cool down without hitting the material is of paramount importance. Uh -huh. I did notice that. It's a game of patience, precision and vigour. Different materials will behave differently. Of this you can be certain. Oh, but I'm sure you must already be giddy with anticipation at the idea of forging uh -huh. new materials. Well, despair not, my little grasshopper. A vast array of fine elements will be needed to build all I have in mind. Okay, you don't fancy helping me then, Gustav. Wow, that is super cool. I love that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where I'm going to end today's recording. I've achieved quite a bit and I'm well chuffed with that. We've got rid of Astrid. We've got rid of Uncle Atul. And uh, we've built the smithy. We've got cows. We've built... Uh, a place for Bruce and Mickey. Very palatial it is too. Quite a productive session, I think. I've had a blast. I love this game so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button for me. And if you have yet to do so, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free and you'll then know when I next upload a video. If you like live streams, you'll find me live on Twitch. I also have a Facebook page and I hang around a bit in Twitter. The links to everything are on the about page here on YouTube, uh, also in the description on this video, or you can go to www.mamasgaming.co.uk. Until next time, I wish you all a fabulous remainder of your day. Ciao for now.